we are in Daytona Beach, Florida, and we're going to do a great little ride called the Daytona, uh, Daytona Beach Loop. It's basically a, a short little 22-mile loop uh, heading north along the ocean uh, is half the ride, and then the other half is kind of through like some, uh, I don't know if it's a nature preserve, some marshland. It's really pretty. Uh, and then on the back stretch, there is like a straightaway driving through some trees. And the trees are like, they're really big, kind of, I want to say they're mossy, where you have like moss hanging down. And if you've seen some of my uh, original videos, I filmed a ride from Triangle to Akia Harbor. And I happen to mention that there is an area in that ride where it's like you're you're riding through a tunnel of trees. Well, this road is a thousand times more than that. It's really cool. I'll point it out when we ride through it. Um, it is freezing here in Daytona Beach. It's about 40 degrees. It was like 38 when I woke up in Orlando this morning. Uh, so far, my time in Florida has been pretty chilly. Uh, yesterday, my first full day in Orlando, when I went to Disney World, it was like... 55 degrees it was sunny that was nice uh but it was pretty chilly oh by the way check out where we are daytona international speedway i figured this was a great stop uh to go get all the cameras set up of course hang out at daytona speedway to not actually move anywhere so like i mentioned yesterday i did disney world and really, I didn't go to Disney World itself. I just went to Disney's Hollywood Studios because I wanted to check out the Star Wars theme park. It's called Galaxy's Edge. And I got to be honest, I was a little disappointed with it. I mean, it looks nice. You know, it's Star Wars-y. But, um... It's kind of small, and there's not a lot there, really. There are two two rides. One is like the Millennium Falcon ride, which I did, and it was cool. The other one's the Rise of the Resistance. And, you know, it, it's a really popular ride. There's a virtual queue that you can get into to try and get on the ride twice a day once before the park opens up at 7 a.m. and I wasn't going to be there at you know when the park opened at 8 and then another one at 1 p.m. and you know you basically download an app and you try and join the queue right at 1 p.m. and if you're lucky you get in and if you're not you don't and I didn't so that kind of sucked but it is what it is um, and other than those two rides, you know, it's, it looks Star Wars-ish. There's some, you know, little shops you can go buy some kitsch at. And then there are things like, you know, build a lightsaber, build a little mini droid stuff I wasn't going to do. Because honestly, I don't have anywhere to put this stuff. My bike is full to the brim. We're uh, a few miles away from the actual start of the ride, so we can talk Star Wars for a bit. And, you know, as far as the, the little theme park itself, it just, I don't know, there was just something kind of lifeless about it. Like, for me, any, any theme park, it's a little fake looking, just because, like, the buildings all kind of look like styrofoam to me. And then, you know, when you go into an actual ride, I guess, you know, the like the Millennium Falcon ride, the Millennium Falcon doesn't really look real. It doesn't look like metal. It looks like styrofoam. You know, if you see a droid, you know, being worked on in a bay, like, there's no metal. It's just like shaped styrofoam or whatever they use to make their stuff and painted. And it looks that way. It was kind of just just didn't look real you know I want to 
I wanted an immersive experience and I didn't quite get it so but it is what it is I didn't come here just for Star Wars that was just like I knew I'd be down here I might as well check it out I actually did the uh, the Daytona loop on my way down to Orlando just wanted to get off the highway do a little ride it was really pretty it was nice and sunny out got a great view of the ocean saw this little you know back half of the ride that is gorgeous so hopefully it'll make for a nice nice little video keep forgetting to mention it but the name of the website I use to find these you know five best rides in Florida is uh, MotorcycleRoads.com I've got to check I'll put it in the comment section below I can never keep them all straight there are a bunch of different websites I use for stuff like this they're all good they'll have a lot of the same rides to be honest I think they're all uh, kind of user uploaded This is Daytona Beach. is just through you know a little neighborhood no big deal pretty houses I mean, the houses really are cool right on the water like that ocean right behind these houses off the head you'll get a good shot of it <clears throat> that my friends is the ocean Ocean by motorcycle, baby. We're not pulling off into sand, that's for sure. Pretend it's 80 degrees and warm. <laughs> Thank you. 
don't know, for me, it's just cool riding along the beach on a motorcycle. Like, <laughs> it doesn't need to be more than that. It's cool. A thousand miles from my home. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look into a road trip to Hawaii. I wonder how you get your motorcycle over there. How miserable an expense that would be. So this map has us go all the way down another mile, then turn around, come back, then that kind of preserve area is off that way. Challenger sounds pretty good down here by the ocean. This is the heading over to the back half of the loop. See any gators? You know they gotta be in there, man. All this swamp or marshland or whatever the heck it's called. There gotta be some gators in there. Here, gator, gator, gator. It's funny, so there's a, a ride I did to the in Maryland at the Blackwater Wildlife Refuge, and it looks a lot like this. Like, it's really interesting to me how anywhere in Maryland could look like Florida, but that place totally does. It was a really nice ride. It was chill. It wasn't any, you know, no major twisties or anything. I would highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a nice day out on their bike over across the Bay Bridge. Gators. Gravel. I'm looking, man. I don't see any. Looking right along the water's edge, looking for a snout sticking up out of the water. Nothing.
Here it is. And this is also that. I think this road just takes us right to the end of the ride. I mean, we'll see what the other four rides are like. It's pretty, it's nice. This is the fifth best ride in the entire state of Florida. I don't know, man. I think Floridians need to get out more. Close enough to North Carolina to get up there for some twisties. I hope this comes out well. It's gorgeous. I saw my frame rate at 24. You know, when I watch YouTube videos, it's always on my television. I don't really watch them on my phone. And it really struggles. But, you know, I was screwing around with YouTube on my phone the other day, and I watched some of my videos, and they actually look a little better on the phone. Smaller screen, I guess. I don't know. But hopefully it will come through okay. This is all lush, beautiful. gators I'm so disappointed I want to see a big fat gator just laid out across the road like one of those monster gators you see on golf courses that'd be sweet see the light shines through that moss that's so cool Oh, if this doesn't come through in the video, I'll be so bummed. It's awesome looking. This is this is the tunnel area I, I had in mind. Although it's it's all been kind of like this. If you see down there, you can see the branches going over the road. that is it for the fifth most popular ride in the state of Florida not bad it's pretty different from the DMV that's for sure 